Hello everyone, welcome back to our coordinator for tutorials. As part of our user management module, in today's session, we are going to discuss about reset password functionality. In the previous session, we worked with forget password functionality. Once you entered a valid email ID, we are going to send a reset password link to the registered email with a message, please verify the link within 15 minutes. Anyhow, we verified earlier, we got the mail, this is the mail we got there and now I am clicking this guys. If you can click this, definitely you are coming to our page. So this is a reset password method which is available in login controller with a token. Now we have to display this method in your login controller. Go to your login controller, define this method. If this token is not there, I don't want to process the request. If the token is there, I will verify the token. If the token is available in the DB, I will process your request. Moreover, whatever the link you are clicking, this link you have to click within 15 minutes, then I will verify. Otherwise, I will display a message, this link was expired. Now let's go to your login controller and define the method called reset password. Now go to your login controller. Just I want to define a method public function reset password with a token. This token is nothing but the parameter. Sometimes there may be a token or may not be. If token is there, we will process the request. Token is nothing but your uni ID in the third segment of the URL. If it is there, we will process our request. Otherwise, we are going to display a error message. Sorry, unable to process the request. For this, guys, I have already a view here. So this is the reset password view. We didn't write anything. Let me keep the basic structure here. This is the basic skeleton of this HTML. Right. We are just writing reset password functionality here. Right. Now, let me save this view and the view should be loaded into your login controller. I mean, forget reset password. Let us load the view guys here. There's a view and with empty data parameter. Now, immediately I need to check whether this token is empty or not. If the token is empty, yes, we are going to display a message. Sorry, unauthorized access. If the token is not empty, now we have to verify the token. The token exists in the DB? Yes, I will display a form to you. And moreover, token should be exist. And... Uh, we, you have to click within 15 minutes. I have to calculate the time also. We are updating time in our database. That is nothing but updated at column. Under that column, when I sent a link to you, that time I am registering into that column, guys. I have to verify that. If you can click within 15 minutes, yes, we will process. First, let us verify the token. Guys, I'm writing just a method from my model. This is the method login model. In this login model, we have a method called verify token. Whatever the token we are collecting from the URL that I'm passing to a method verify token, this verify token method we have to define into your login model. Go to your login model and define the method, guys. Just I'm going to define the method called verify token. To this, we are passing the token which is in the URL. And we are verifying the token in the users table. Just we are selecting all the information required as you can get it. But I need to get updated at a time. I need definitely. So because I have to verify the expiration time. And based on the uni ID, we are getting the data. If everything is okay, we will get the data as a result array. If it is okay, then we will verify. If it is not, I mean if it is written false, you are invalid. So now I have to go to controller. What this method is going to do? This method is going to return the data if token exists. Not exists, simply I'm writing one condition if not empty of the user data. If user data is not empty, definitely you are an invalid person. Definitely now in the view, I have to display a message tell the data of error. ERR or error equal to unable to find user account. Unable to find user account whatever the account uh, you have assigned to you so if you if the token is not available definitely that is something wrong definitely there is no such an account with that particular token that's why we are displaying a message sorry unable to find user account if the token is available then what we have to do we have to verify that expiration time also guys to verify this we are going to write a method so verify token or check expiration time and all we are we already written this at the time of registration uh, activation link process i think yeah now the same function we are going to write here but this time we are going to verify within 15 minutes guys here i have to define a method that are this of check expiry expiry date so to this we have to pass dollar user data of user data of updated it this is the time we have updated underscore it which is coming from database 
this method we have to define at the bottom of the page guys because i written this method right this means current class method so this of check expiry date i written at the bottom of the page i am going to define the method guys this is the expiry date function i just written this and to this we are just passing the time updated time can you see what is the parameter we passed here guys the time updated it we are passing and that we are converting to str2 time and this is the current time and i am finding the difference the time difference between the updated time and the current time if this 9900 seconds is nothing but 15 minutes guys so time difference is less than 900 seconds then i am going to return true i mean you are within that given time otherwise we are just returning false false means you are out of the time now here i just want to write a small condition if this method returns true yes we have to display the reset password form guys otherwise i don't want to do anything yeah here we are going to display a message what is the message you know dollar data of error equal to reset password link was expired expired right this is the message we are going to display there so here what we have to do we have to display the form so once the form is submitted we have to do something right so now we have to go and we have to collect the form data but we didn't create the form as of now can you see the form is not created first of all let me display the error messages also if you have any errors i have to display them i don't want to display the form until you have to error free let us write this condition here i'm just writing if is set dollar error if error is there we have to display it let us display the error message if you have any error just i'm going to display this so here else if error is not there what i want to do you know i have to display the reset password form this is what we are going to do here we are going to display reset password form here we are going to display the error if you have anything so let us take a div here div class equal to alert alert danger right this is going to be the error message if you have any error that error we are going to display here simply i am writing dollar error can you see now let me process this i'm just going to submit my form go to the form and just refresh it now you can see so this reset password link was expired guys because we know that why the reset password link was expired right so this was early session so that's why the right now the time is almost all some hours gone that's why the link was expired if the token is not there then definitely you are going to get one more error guys if the token is not i'm doing manually if the token is not there sorry unauthorized access you're not a person now token is there now i'm entering some token but i'm doing something wrong at the end of it can you see unable to find user account all the error messages are displaying proper but at the end of it everything is okay but expiration time so your time was expired anyhow so let us display the form guys here quickly and go to this and here exactly we have to display the form if everything is okay right yes form open form close form underscore open as well as form close let us do this quickly and here we are going to write uh, enter new password confirm new password that is a form we are going to create here let me create the form quickly yes guys my form is ready and these are the form fields i'm going to take enter new password name of the input field is pwd and this is going to be confirm new password and now you can just check this preview and you will see the output of it guys anyhow this link was expired right we cannot see the form let us do one thing uh, i am going to retry again i think we are going to get one more link here let us submit the same if everything is okay we are getting the reset password link with a fresh updated time let us submit it now we are getting the same message guys here now i have to check my mail if i got a link so i have to wait for some time i believe yes i got the link guys second time so in primary also i got yes you can just go there and click on this link guys this is a zero minutes ago i think just now i got this mail and just click this and this is the link just you are going to click on it now can you see you are going to see the form no you are not able to see the form why reset password link was expired let me check what is the problem which mail i clicked here here i got i did a small change in the expiry date function so here we are getting the current time and the time updated in the database and both 
times I'm converting into number of seconds I'm subtracting if the difference is below 900 I will display the forget password form sorry reset password form if anything wrong we are going to display a message sorry this link was expired but now we got an error message this link was expired I think this is going to be work perfectly for us so let us go and check this function now and just refresh it oh yes it is working guys but uh, form something wrong and go to your form and uh, just uh, write this as a form open f o r m form open right form done now you can just go and refresh it now you can able to see the form form close also i mean same error guys go to the bottom of the page and check this form close form close it's done now refresh the page now you can see the reset password form is displaying because we are within the time range guys that's why i think just i went through google and a small solution i find here just divided by 60 and we are doing the same but uh, anyhow i just find the solution for this right so it's not a problem guys just i i calculated in that manner but we didn't get the output it is giving some uh, very huge difference that's why i divided by 60 actually that's we ac actually we have to do it guys right so done guys now the time difference is within the given range that's why we are able to see the form right now what is the next thing the form is displaying right so once the form displayed we have to validate the form guys so we here we have to define the validation rules let us define the validation rules guys to validate the form and first of all the form should be submitted let's submit the form this of request of get method get method equal to equal to post i mean if the form is submitted yes we have to define the validation rules for the password and confirm password guys let me define the validation rules quickly for this yes guys validation rules are ready and what are the rules you taken while registration form the same validation rules i taken for the password and we are using the matches rule so if the validation rules are okay now we will update the password guys if the this of validate of rules if the rules are valid then do something if the rules are not valid these error messages we have to send to view by using we have validation variable here equal to validator object so now these error messages we have to display into the view guys list errors right so let us display these errors also into the view if anything wrong in these validation rules what are the password and that is required min length and max length the same rules we define in the registration form right here we are using uh, what is it required and matched password matches is a rule to verify the password and confirm password these two are the name of the input fields we know already the validations now we need to collect the form data guys dollar pwd equal to dollar this of request of get where so to this i just want to pass dollar pwd just pass pwd so we are going to get the password of it and we have to convert this password into pass by using password hash method password underscore hash with an algorithm so let us remove this and what is the default we are using right yes let us use the same password underscore default is the algorithm we are using the same guys what you have used in the registration form the same i am using now we have to update this password into database guys for this we have to write a method definitely so let us define a method guys this is the modal method update password based on the token i am passing the password to the update password method to the login model if this is okay this method will return true let me write a message here if the password updated successfully we will display a message if not done so we will display some other message sorry wrong password or password does not match sorry Una sorry password does not match already we are verifying here but here we are going to display a small message sorry unable to update the password right so let us display the error message as well as success message if everything is okay i want to redirect you back to login page in the login page i will display a message your password changes successfully login now 
if anything wrong i will be in the same page i am going to re uh, reload the page with the error message guys let us display these error success and error messages anyhow this method should be defined uh, in your model go to your model and what i need to do here i need to update the password guys let's go here and let us define the method guys the password method this is update password method id and this is the password id is nothing but the token so in the users table based on the uni id we are going to update the password if everything is okay it is going to return true otherwise it is going to return false guys anyhow we are saving the model and let us go here and if everything is okay success message otherwise error message let us display this uh, temp data yes guys this is a success message if everything is okay i am defining temp data after that i am redirecting you to login page i want to display this in the login page if anything error i want to be in the same page let us write this as a error write a message sorry unable to update password try again sorry unable to update password try again that's it guys so now after that i want to redirect to current url only in the current url i would just want to display this current url yes perfect now these messages we have to display into the view right we didn't catch this success message and list errors and all i think right let us catch the success this is errors we catch it but not list errors i believe so we have to catch them also list error as well as success message sorry error message guys let us display them also here Yes, I just copied these messages from our login view and the validation errors. If you have anything, they are going to be displayed here and error message. Success message is not required here. Success message we are going to display into the login view and we are redirecting. Everything is okay. We are redirecting to login view. There it is. The message is going to be displayed, guys. Anyhow, let me go to my view here. So where is my file? And this is the page, right? I am refreshing. If we can refresh, okay. Now I'm going to update the data, guys. Let us enter the password. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to enter one, two, three, four, five, six. Just I'm going to hit the update button. If everything is okay, something wrong. Password hash expects at least two parameters. One given. Let me check what is the problem here. I think password hash method. So in our login.php. So go to this. Exactly what is the mistake we did? Where is this password hash guys here we have to pass oh my god where i written this i written here no sorry we have to write here right go there and keep the comma here yes we have to write here guys this is the problem now anyhow let me refresh the page and let me submit it again i'm just refreshing the page we are getting the form and let me enter the password one two three four five six one two three four five six i'm submitting it now if everything is okay we are going to redirect to login page password updated successfully login now i don't know what is the password of the user early now i'm going to enter the email id so earlier i entered some password wrong password i entered now i'm submitting this definitely you are going to get an error message because you entered wrong credentials right let me enter a valid password what is a valid password just now i changed one two three four five six now let me hit submit button if everything is okay you are going to home page now you are in the home page this is all about your reset password functionality guys if you have any doubts please comment under the video section thank you all